And that's really where a lot of stress can build up for a lot of buyers and sellers is during that downtime. So for that reason, we really make sure that we stay engaged with people throughout the entire process and just set that expectation on how regularly we're going to be touching base. The big thing is just making sure your agent has some, again, some system and process for when they're going to be reaching out and talking to you and making that communication happen. Additionally, you want to ask them, what do you think about this market? And when they answer you, you want to listen for numbers as uh, everyone has an opinion, but it's a professional. They can back up their theory about how the market is doing and you know how things are looking in the future with numbers. If they don't know the numbers, I'm not going to just completely lose confidence, but I'm a little skeptical of someone because anyone can have an opinion. It takes a professional to know what the numbers are. Now, the last question, you're probably going to get a, a lot of cheesy canned responses, but let's throw it out there anyway. Um, the last question I would ask is, why do you practice real estate? And a lot of people, the response is going to be, well, I really like helping people in this stage of their life as they are making these big decisions and helping people get into homes. And yeah, you'll probably get some, some variation of that to one degree or another. Really what you're going to be looking for is you're going to try to go a little bit deeper and figure out, okay, well, you like helping people find houses. Okay, that's cool. Why do you like helping people find houses? Because everybody's got that, that canned response all ready to go. And you want to dig a little bit deeper and figure out what the motivation is for that person.